Hello, you wonderful people. In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you an overview of setting up Next Auth 5 in your Next 15 project. So let's jump right into it. First, let me show you a demo. Here I have my project. Notice that I have a protected route. If I click on it, notice I get redirected back to the homepage because I am not signed in. So we're using next auth with GitHub provider. When I click sign in, it's going to go through the workflow and sign me in. Now that I'm signed in, I'm using a middleware to check if I'm authorized. If so, we're able to redirect to our protected route, which is a section that I'm currently working on to allow you to either add questions or suggestions of the type of videos that you want me to make, as well as give you the opportunity to upvote them. This is not connected yet. This is something that I'm working on. And by the way, you'll be able to see this code in the description below. So let me go ahead and sign out and notice it redirects us back to the index page. So like I mentioned, I am using Next.js 15 and I'm using Next Auth Beta, which is Next Auth 5 which I find in my experience an easier approach to set up. And we could literally walk through the documentation that walks us through the steps. The process is simplified. If you've done it in the past, the first thing we have to do is create the auth.ts file. And in the providers, we will just add the providers that we want to use. So taking a look at my application, if I go into source, in my source folder that I have auth.ts file, and that's exactly the snippet that you saw before. Now, when you do add this, you need to set your environmental tokens inside your local ENV file, which I'm not going to show you because they're my secret tokens, but they will be automatically picked up by the configuration. Once this set up, the next step is to add a route handler that will allow us to execute the process. Next auth makes it easy. All we need to do is just import our handlers and use them in our route. So taking a look at my project inside the app folders, notice that I have an API folder with a auth folder with next auth. If we take a look inside the route.ts file, I'm just importing those handlers that do all the heavy lifting for us. So whenever we click the sign in button, we're going to make a request to GitHub to start the authentication process. And it's going to send the call back to this endpoint. And this is something that you have to configure in GitHub. If we take a look on GitHub, you could find it in settings, developer settings, your app and you will need to configure this. But the most important part is that you include the home URL and more importantly, you need to point to your callback API endpoint that we just created. So this API auth callback GitHub is exactly the API endpoint that we created here that's going to handle that authorization. So now let's take a look on the front end how this is set up. If we take a look in our layout, I have my top navigation. Now, if you want to have access to the use session hook to see if you're logged in or not, you will need to use session provider, which comes from next auth react. So if we go into my top navigation component, we will see that I am importing a component called user button and this user button, this is what you see here. If you're not authenticated, it's going to show the sign in button. If you authenticate with GitHub, it's going to show your avatar with the name. So if we take a look at the user button in more detail. You're going to see that this is a basic drop down component. I'm getting session and status from your session hook that's coming from the session provider that we set up. And now that I have access to the status, I could do a conditional and check if status is authenticated, go ahead, show the avatar image. And if we are not authenticated, go ahead and show the sign in button. And that's exactly what we see here. If we are authenticated, we see the avatar image with the sign out button. And if we sign out, we are just going to see the sign in button. 
exactly what we see in this component. So now that we know that our auth works, let's take a look how we use Next.js middleware to protect our routes. So in my Next.js application, I have a file called middlewares.ts, and here I have an array of protected routes. For instance, right now, I have the suggestions route. That's my protected route. So we're saying, hey, if it's a protected route and you're not logged in, redirect to our homepage. And that's exactly what happens. So notice I'm not logged in. My protected route is suggestions. When I click on it, we always get redirected to our homepage. So any route that I mentioned here is going to be protected. So here in my app, we could take a little quick example. I have a route called issues. Currently it's not protected. So currently I'm not logged in. If I navigate to issues, you're going to see that we have no issue logging in here. So now I'm going to go ahead and add it to the list of protected routes issues. And so now when I go back and refresh my application, notice we get kicked out. No matter how many times I try to navigate to issues, our middleware will stop us. So the only way I will be able to see it, if I go to sign in and sign in, and after I'm signed in, now we are able to navigate to issues without any issues. And if I sign out, it's going to redirect us back. So here we could see how setting up a Next.js middleware allows you to, in one place, check all the protected routes and then check if you are logged in order to be able to allow the middleware to pass through. Otherwise, it's going to go ahead and return them to their main page. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, but this is uh, another project that I'm building because I want to create a simple starter template that I could use to jumpstart a lot of uh, Next.js uh, 15 projects using the technologies that I like, like Tailwind, Shetsian, UI. I'm also going to incorporate Strapi into this, of course, but I just want to show a simple example how to get started with Next auth. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.